So uh, it's Wednesday, fight week. Um, yeah, so basically today uh, I've got um, some more stretching with John. i got to go pick up my new custom-made gum shield. Um, and then uh, some technical stuff with John Kavanagh tonight. One meal a day. I had but only five liters of water today, so not so bad. Also, just from looking at this camera, I think I realized I need a haircut. So, gonna get that done today as well. My custom made gum shield from Impact. There they are, there. Zoom in. So, uh, yeah, just up here collecting my gum shield from Impact Gum Shields. Gonna go in. James is here now. He's gonna give me. Uh, you'll see the cool colors I got now. Good to see you good again. Good to see you again. Hurting, you so right? Much. Yeah, yeah, good. Uh, so, what have we got here? We got a little uh, Impact Gum Shield for you. And we want the old uh, dumb colors. Deadly. So, we made up a little number for you there. Ah, brilliant, dude. Pop that in Throw there. Little shot. See how that feels. Awesome. Brilliant. Hopefully, I won't be getting hit in it too much anyway. But <laughs> well, that's the whole point. You don't want to get actually hit in the face, but if you do. You want something that's gonna, not going to get you. My teeth are messed up on it enough. The last thing I need is them missing. Yeah, exactly. Know? Well, that, that bed is not going to move. So, listen, uh, how it goes off you. And Thanks. Look at the fight. Thanks, brother. Yeah. So, at one of my favorite places to eat, the food room in. Uh, I can't even think now, I'm so hungry. <laughs> but this is this is food here. This will be my only meal of the day. I'm gonna do Chris's body fats. Um, what we use here at the ISI is we use the calipers as a, a quick way of doing it. There's it's not the most accurate way of measuring body fat, but it's definitely the quickest uh, and accurate that you can do. Okay? So we're going to start with his chin. So we do 12 sites. And the key with this is that you're consistent with yourself. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. And cheek. And the next one then we're going to do is pec. triceps. With all our fighters we try and get them as lean as possible because it's easier to squeeze water from muscle than it is to squeeze water from fat. So even though someone could be weighing the same on the scales, the leaner athlete will make weight easier. Shot there. <laughs> okay, cool. So again, based off our 12 site measurement and the software we use, Chris is 2.6% body fat. Okay, so I think that's the leanest we've ever got. To. Ever, yeah. ever. So that's the leanest we have. So Chris is at his leanest ever. Now again, is he really that percentage? No, this software tends to score you a little bit low, lower, but everyone we test, the lower the better. Just gonna go in and speak to the boss now, John Kavanagh. So this is his new office, looking slick. Hey coach. What's up Chris? Let's see. So, shoot. <laughs> so I was just wondering now, uh, would, would it be possible for you to get me that Stop. fight? Chris, you've come into my office, you sat in the chair, you're a good man, what do you need? I, I need a fight coach, if possible. You need a fight? Yeah. I know, just a man. Hold on. Hello. Yep, Chris Fields. Match him. Mm -hmm. Has he fought? He teaches fighting. Yeah. Next Saturday. Deal. You're a good man, Chris. You come into my office, humble, asking for fights. I'll make it happen. <laughs> we had to go get this mop cut, but I uh, just walked by this window and I was wondering why would this be how you'd advertise what you sell in your store? Looks like a bad ox ram, and I bet you it's about 50 times the price. All right, so next time you see me, I'll look clean, cut, and slick. There we go. I'm gonna go over to the light. 
happy haircut. Looking neat and tidy now. Alright, see you all in a while. I'm about to go do like a 6k run just to burn some calories. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm afraid to put my hoodie on though because my hair looks so slick now. I don't know what to do. About to go out for that run. I look uh, a little bit ropey. Some uh, tracky bottoms tucked in the socks. If I saw me jogging towards me, I'd probably cross the road. But hey, ruin the hair. A three and a half k in. Down. Pretty dark and scary place. I hate running. What a passion. Water loading and running. My two least favorite things in the world. And I do them for my favorite thing in the world. So just at the last kind of half a kilometer of my run, I can go that way. Which is nice and easy, or I can go that way, which is all uphill. I know if I go the easy way, I won't be able to show my face in Ballybrack again. So, uphill it is. 100 meters into that hill, and I'm uh, already regretting my decision. This is where champions are made. These are little edges, the little bit no one else is willing to do. So that's uh, my run. Done just over 6k in uh, 22 minutes, I think it was. Um, so, yeah, pretty fucked after that. Time for a bath, drink the last of my water, and then up for flights and stuff in the morning. I'm glad now, I know everything's gonna be alright on Saturday night, because uh, Laura's mom lit a candle for me, so. <laughs> he hasn't got a chance.